How did I meet Hank? I heard him barking outside one morning. Well, it was more like panting. I pop my head over the fence and there's this little overexcited guy with a coat of fur so silky. He could have been in one of those shampoo commercials. So I invite him up for some biscuits. And believe it or not, the guy likes biscuits too. I've showed him my barbecue, some tricks, you know, the usual kind of stuff. Well, we were in seemed like best mates. The only problem was he came round on steak day. I don't share that steak with anyone, man. I mean anyone. So I'm eating my steak, and Hank comes up all coy-like, like I can't see him, or like I don't know what he's trying to do. And this guy, man, he starts licking my steak. Licking it! His tongue's flicking all over my steak and stuff. So I did what I had to do. And I thought I'd gotten rid of him. Until one day I heard a noise outside. Next thing I know, Hank runs in wearing this crazy shirt, going on how he's been to some place called Colachella and met some other dog called Snoop, and they took a selfie together. Whatever that is. Anyways, Hank's back. And like a famous human once said, friends come and go like busboys in a restaurant. I've never been to a restaurant, and I don't really know what a busboy is, but I do know what a friend is. <laughs>